to Seriously Read a Book. My name is John. Today we will be reading This Moose Belongs to Me by Oliver Jeffers. Also, Rose is here. Want to say hi, Rose? Hi. Wilfred owned a moose. He hadn't always owned a moose. The moose came to him a while ago and he knew, just knew, that it was meant to be his. He's putting a little tag on the moose's antlers there. He thought he would call him Marcel. And the little tag says, Marcel. It's his name tag. It's his name tag. He's putting a name tag on the moose's antlers. So everyone knows this is Marcel. He began following Marcel, explaining the rules of how to be a good pet. <laughs> oh, look at this. Rule number three. What do you think rule number three is? Uh, give the owner food? <gasps> oh! that, that, is, that is what it looks like. Because normally you, the owners have to give them food. Oh, that's true. But in this case, he thinks that Marcel should be bringing him, it looks like a, a frosty beverage. Maybe orange juice. Hmm. Much of the time it seemed as though the moose wasn't listening. But Wilfred knew he was. Mostly because he followed rule four very well not making too much noise while Wilfred plays his record collection. Ah, he's enjoying his records. The moose's back end is not making very much noise. <laughs> Sometimes the moose wasn't a very good pet. He generally ignored rule seven, going whichever way Wilfred wants to go. <laughs> and he's trying to eat an apple there on the floor. The moose had a very good sense of direction, and Wilfred did not. And because the moose was particularly poor on rule number seven, subsection B, maintaining a certain proximity to home, Wilfred quickly learned to bring some string along on their outing so he could find his way back again. There goes the string. He's following Marcel. He seems pretty happy about that. Sometimes the moose was an excellent pet. He had no trouble with rule 11 providing shelter from the rain. Hmm. It's only rainy. <laughs> That's a happy Wilfred. Or rule 16, knocking down things that are out of Wilfred's reach. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Good work, says Wilfred, eating an apple. <laughs> look, look how happy Wilfred is. One day, as Wilfred discussed their plans for the coming year on a particularly long walk, he made a terrible discovery. Someone else thought she owned the moose. Rodrigo, you're back! Wilfred was dumbstruck. This moose was Marcel, not Rodrigo. The old lady was mistaken, and Wilfred thought it only proper that he correct her. This moose belongs to me, he explained. And to prove it, he called Marcel. Heel. But the moose did not respond. He seemed more interested in the old lady. Good Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Rodrigo. Is it Rodrigo? Hmm. Fine. Embarrassed and enraged, Wilfred rushed off for home. Oh no, this looks like a bad scenario. But in his haste and miles from anywhere, he tripped over his string and got tangled up. And there he lay, next to the apples on the ground. Wilfred was beginning to get a little bit worried. It was getting late, and the monsters would be out soon. <laughs> ah, the monsters. He had just ruled out the last of his options. Hmm. No penguins. No bears around with axes and peg legs. No, no saws. No dolphins. No, oh, no, what is that? Is that a, is that a shark with a... It's a narwhal. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, hammer, no, no thunderstorm and lightning to free him. <sighs> when along came the moose. Still has his name tag on. And performed rule 73 brilliantly, rescuing your owner from perilous situations. Yay! I wonder if he really wanted to rescue him or if he was only hungry. All was forgiven, and perhaps Wilford admitted he'd never really owned the moose anyway. Oh, look at that. 
Look at what's down there. With that in mind, he and the moose reached a compromise. The moose would agree to all of Wilfred's rules, including bringing the frosty beverage, whenever it suited him. And off goes the moose. And how does Wilfred look? Mm. <laughs> Not super happy about it. <laughs> Dominic, you're back! And you brought me an apple! <laughs> I think this moose has no owners. What do you think? I think not. I think mooses aren't good at having owners or being pets. All right. That would be funny. Well. Come over here. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. That is how it sometimes goes with, what is the plural of moose? Moss. Mooses? Mosses? Mooses? Meese? Meese? Mooses? Mooses? Moo. I don't know. <laughs> Meese, moose, mooses. Mo I think mooses. What do you think? Mooses? Mooses. That was Oliver Jeffers' This Moose Belongs to Me. Sometimes we want to own things that we just can't own. That's how it goes. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and click the bell. And we're out of here. Want to say bye, Rose? Bye. Bye.